So here's uh, the next update, and as you can see, it's pretty much done. I um, I clear coat everything that needed to be uh, clear coat, and it's uh, satin clear. So uh, I'm gonna start with the hood, and here's the hood. So there's some the other side of the hood, and so it's looking pretty good, or actually looks good actually, and uh, and I did. The firewall just block washed that section and be done with it. Uh, the interior, here's the interior. Um, I didn't glue this on uh, yet just because um, I need to do the final touches. Yeah, so that's that. And that's how I did it. So, and I went ahead and I went to it with a different pattern. And yeah, so it's looking pretty good, and the underneath, so that cape, yeah, I mean, it, it, it broke off when I was um, trying to take everything off, so it, it gives it a character, so once I put it on, it's it's going to look the part, and that's where the seat goes, so, I don't know, I might just put a, a sign or something that's covering it, okay, so that's that, and um, here's the, uh, the dash, and I put a little bit of foil paper on here, or bare metal foil, and this is, um, I can't remember the name, or what's it called, uh, the glove box, jewel, or something like that. Um, back in the days, they used to chrome that, and, you know, whenever you have your girlfriend or whatever, and um, uh, you older guys might know the, the correct name for, for chroming the door for this uh, glove box. So, just let me know what it is, I can't think of it right now. I'm sure after I'm done with this video, I'll be like, oh yeah, that's what that was. So that's that. It's just a little bit of detail. I mean, you're not going to see it. So um, now we're going to do the bed. So it's it's clear. Again, like I said, it's clear. So it's um, pretty dirty. Uh, and there's a reason why their license plate is going to be... It's, it's there and uh, it's not my license plate. So... Um, I'll let you guys know once it's all complete and put together um, the reason why I did um, uh, what I did and um, here's the cab uh, it's, it's turned out pretty good uh, I put um, uh, the headlights and the grill and as you can see I, I um, sanded off the back part of this grill so I could give it a more realistic look and um, now I'm going to show you guys the chassis so the chassis it's uh, pretty well pretty well weathered and uh, it's weather but not to uh, an extreme where it, it's undrivable so I have to find something to connect this because as you guys remember at the beginning it was just the uh, a, Oh, they just put a, I think a piece of gum or something just to connect it, which is weird. Oh, well, I might just end up leaving it like that. But um, yeah, it looks the part. So I did my rust technique, but all of this is dry brushed. So dry brushed it, and after that was done, I did um a metallic uh, dry brush. I could give it the um the look of you know the steel showing off. Let's see if I can bring this up a little closer. You guys can see that and yeah it's coming along pretty nice so that's pretty much it the wheels are gonna stay the way they are so it's just something that someone's working on it so yeah that's the update for for today guys thanks for stopping by and uh, thanks for leaving your comments thanks for the shares subs and all the good stuff all right guys I'll see you guys in the next one happy modeling